This video will show a short demonstration on using the shift key to temporarily override a selection mode in Flader Mouse. You won't be able to see my mouse or keyboard during the video, so I've added effects to the video to help guide you. There will be a yellow highlight on the cursor at all times. Left clicks will be indicated by blue rings, and right clicks will be indicated by red rings. And there will also be callouts indicating the keyboard key I am pressing. When you're in Flader Mouse moving around, you're typically using what's called Explore Mode. Explore Mode is controlled with this button here. And when you're in Explore Mode, the cursor shape mimics the shape that's on the Explore Mode button. When you're in Explore Mode, left click and drag will rotate you. So if you left click and drag left and right, moves you to the left and right, up and down, moves you up and down. Also when in explore mode, if you do a middle click, it will recenter the point of interest. Using the scroll button will zoom you in and out. And a right click and drag will generate a profile on the surface. If you're interested in selecting part of the surface, and you're typically going to do this because you're planning to do some area-based editing of bathymetry or topography, you'll change to one of the other selection modes. So the other modes we have in Flader Mouse are Select Mode, Polygon Select Mode, and Area Select Mode. Notice that when I hover my mouse over the button, you get a description of what the button is, and also in parentheses you'll see the hotkey that controls that button. So your typical workflow would be to use Explore Mode to find the area you're interested in, change to Select Mode. When you change to Select Mode, the left click changes, so now a left click and drag will draw a rectangle on the surface and then click Launch 3D Editor and that would bring up the 3D Editor to show your soundings. You would edit your soundings when you're happy you would save and exit and the surface would update. Then you would go back to Explore Mode and move to a different part of the scene. You can be quicker if you use hotkeys to do this instead of clicking on the buttons. The hotkeys for Explore Mode are the space bar and for select mode, it's the S key. So using doing the same actions but using the hot keys, I would click on the space bar to put myself in explore mode, find my area of interest, click on the S hot key to change to select mode, left click and drag to select an area of interest, and then the hot key to launch the 3D editor is the number three. Click on the number 3 and the 3D editor will launch with soundings. There is one additional key that can help you further speed up your workflow and that's the shift key. If you use the shift key you can tempor temporarily override the selection mode and force it to use explore mode type functionality. So right now I'm still in select mode. Uh, left click and drag will draw a box. However, if I click and hold the shift key and then left click in my scene, I can again rotate. So still in, shift, in select mode and holding the shift key, I can explore to find a new area of interest. And then when I'm ready to select an area on the surface, I let go of the shift key, left click and drag, and hit the 3 key to launch the 3D editor. That's how you can use the shift key to temporarily override a selection mode in Flader Mouse.